Hello there. I'm Julie Davis for Blick Art Materials. You know, some of the most intriguing pieces of art are made from materials that are considered to be useless. Today I'm going to show you a great way to recycle old discarded pieces of dinnerware you might find in basements, flea markets, or secondhand stores. Turn them into dimensional paintings by covering them with lightweight canvas and acrylic paint. It's a whimsical makeover for china, glass, metal, or even plastic items. In the classroom, students could research and design a place setting for a famous artist using colors and imagery that re reflect their own vision, such as in this Van Gogh style plate over here. Or you could make a classroom version of the dinner party, much like Judy Chicago did when she created an installation piece of 39 place settings, each for a notable woman from history. So let's start with the dishes. Everyone has a few old pieces laying around with chips and cracks and outdated patterns. You really don't have to look far. I have a number of mismatched pieces here. I think I'll start with the coffee cup. You'll need a piece of lightweight canvas. For the coffee cup, oh, I'm going to need a piece about, about a foot square, I would guess. This is Blick 7-ounce cotton duck canvas. It's available by the yard. Make sure that you have unprimed canvas. Some canvas is already sold with a gesso primer on one side, but that makes it difficult to wrap. Now you can either tear or cut the canvas in order to make smaller pieces, which will be easy to apply to the surface, well, especially rounded surfaces like this. When you tear the canvas, you create a frayed edge like that. That you might find that you really like. You could even pull out some more of the strings to expose more fray and save the strings so that you could add those at a later time to add more texture. Now if you prefer a cleaner edge, you can always cut shapes out with a pair of scissors instead. You're going to need some glue to attach the canvas and for this project I recommend a tacky fabric or craft glue. I think Sobo works great for this project. Apply the glue directly onto the piece of canvas, generously, like so, and then press it to the surface of the cup. Now, you can either smoothly apply it like this, or you can allow it to buckle and fold and wrinkle and add texture, depending on how you like it. When it's time to add the second piece of canvas, you'll want to overlap the piece that you already have on. Smooth surfaces, such as glass and china, won't bond with the glue permanently, so the canvas is going to have to bond to itself. So make sure that your pieces overlap. Keep on going until the piece is covered. If you want to create some more texture, add some glue, and add your phrase inside or on the outside. I have an example here that's already covered and the phrase you can see are down here in the bottom of the cup wrapped around the handle as well and I've started to paint it. Now I've chosen to use the Blick matte acrylic color. The matte acrylic color comes in wonderful colors, a variety of colors, but you could use any paint that you wanted to. Acrylic paint does work the best because as acrylic paint goes onto the surface and dries, it seals it permanently. Other colors that you might use, such as tempera or even watercolor, you would need to put a spray coating over the top to seal them permanently. Otherwise, they might come up onto your hands as you're handling them. I do need to mention that this is not considered a food safe container. After it's dried, you can embellish the piece. And there's a variety of ways that I might mention. This piece right here has some wire and some cotton warp string wrapped around the edge. I like the way that it works on this cup right here because there's an interesting shape to this handle and that defines that shape further just by giving it a contrasting color. You can also add beads, yarn, fabrics, or in the case of this example that I have over here, the canvas has been replaced with a variety of beautiful papers. So can you imagine all the objects that you could turn into sculpture using this process? 
I know you're getting ideas right at this very moment, aren't you? So visit dickflick.com backslash lesson plans to download a PDF version of this project and to view the National Standards for Visual Arts Education as you develop your own lesson plan for classroom canvas dinnerware. Thanks for joining us today.